when I was in art school, uh, my teachers often told me that I should stick to a kind of um, straightforward photographic realism, and I, I just could never quite limit myself to that. Uh, always something a little bit surreal or um, a little bit jarring uh, uh, in terms of the perspective, the point of view uh, would come into my work because I've, I've always been uh, fascinated with, with not just what things look like, but how we actually experience things. How do we actually encounter the world? And in Red Moss, um, uh, it's not just a view of a forest, it's, it's kind of a walk through a forest. What, what did I notice when I walked through the forest? What were the most eye-catching, evocative, mysterious moments of that walk? And how can I, how can I combine those into a whole um, coherent experience? Um, to me, that's more interesting just in what things look like on the outside. And then um, as, an, as another, uh, another element of interest, there's, there's a, a little brooch in the, the painting, a brooch in the shape of a butterfly. And somehow to me, uh, in, in the context of the rest of the painting and the, the leaves on the ground, um, uh, there was a story there somehow, which I found uh, uh, to have a poetic resonance that I wanted to have painting as well. So the whole title is Red Moss and her brooch lay lost in a February wood.